tanks will be a vital part of the Allied arsenal. But getting them onto the beaches will be no mean feat. Pioneering British engineers have spent months designing and building this ingenious hybrid war machine. It's a tank that floats in water. John Pearson is the owner of this DD tank. It's the last of its kind in the world. I personally can't imagine how the inventor of the DD ever managed to convince people that you could put a canvas bag around a tank and put it in the sea and it would float. The most important part of, uh, of it being amphibious is the propeller, which goes into and out of gear like that and steers like an outboard motor. The other major part of the flotation equipment is the skirt, which is inflated with compressed air. And when these become rigid, it lifts the top frame up and it floats with the tank completely below the water surface. And so when it's afloat, it looks just like a rubber boat. It is surprising that the crews could be persuaded to be launched at sea, to be honest. It's not something I would do. I don't, I don't mind restoring it, I don't mind driving it, I don't mind playing with it. But the idea of consigning it to the sea with me inside it, no, forget it, I wouldn't do it.